Hey everybody, welcome to Popular Opinion. Like always, I'm your host Cody. Today, we've got a mystery box unboxing from Poptopia. Before we get started, if you want to become a member of the family, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button so you can join the Popular Opinion Posse. Yeah, that's a new name for the group. Let's go ahead and get started right now. Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing the Poptopia October mystery box unboxing. So cool thing about this mystery box is they had a really awesome top hit in the box and it was a very cheap box to order. It was $9.99. That's my favorite price point of boxes to do because most pops retail for about 10 bucks. You're really not gonna lose your money if you get a common pop in it. But I kind of want to read some information on this particular mystery box because it's still live. It's interesting to me that the mystery box is still live and they've already shipped them out to me. So I don't know if anybody's got the top hit out of this box yet or not, but let me read some info out to you. It's November 13th when I'm recording this video and the mystery box is still up. So this is called the Funko Pop Poptopia Ultimate October Mystery Box. There's a total of a thousand boxes. Each box has one pop in it. You will get either and I'll put with the magic of editing. An Ichiro Suzuki, 51 pieces of this chrome pot were made. It's valued at 3,400. So one out of a thousand shot to get Ichiro. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. That's right, Lloyd. There is a chance to get this pop. So if you don't get the Ichiro, you have a chance of getting one of 250 exclusive or chase pops outside of that it's either going to be what's left over is one of 749 commons so you know one out of four chance to get an exclusive or a chase the rest are commons every four inch pop does ship in a pop protector so that's kind of the the good thing about it you are getting the the pop topias pop protectors are pretty decent you know, so you do get a pop. I mean, those are about, you know, worth about a dollar or two for these plastic protectors. So at least you do get a protector with it. But that's what is in the box. I've ordered from Poptopia a couple times before. This is my first unboxing video from Poptopia. So the good thing is you're going to get to see what they package their pops. How does it look? Do they come in damaged? You'll be able to see that in the video. And, you know, if you want to order something, check them out. They do a lot of $25 mystery boxes as well. They usually drop them. You know, on Mondays and Wednesdays, they drop a lot of their $25 mystery boxes. So check them out. We're going to go ahead and jump into this one. Let's see what we got. I'm excited. I already know, though. I already know. I got the top hit in the box. You know how I know? It's got Fragile handled with care. Do you think they put Fragile on the box if it was all commons? They all have that same sticker on them, you morons. Wait a minute. I wish I had a fragile sticker right now I could put on you, you snowflake. <laughs> but it's all fun and games. Look, I don't know if I've got the, the top hit in the box. Odds are I don't. But the cool thing is we're going to unbox it together and see what we got. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. Look, odds are I don't have the top hit in it. But we're going to find out. If I didn't get the top hit, maybe I got lucky on an exclusive or chase in here. So as you can see, you know, I'm going to tell you the size of the box. I hadn't opened it at all. It's still sealed. We're going to jump right into it. I got three of them. I've been excited to open this box. I've had the box for a few days. I'm just now getting a little bit of time to come film me opening it. And like I said, my the boxes I like doing the best are 999 ones. They're safe mystery boxes to do because most boxes, you know, most pots are worth about 10 bucks. All right, so I'm going to turn it this way and I'll show it to the camera. So you guys can see it live. Let's jump right into it and see what we've got. Door number one. Now, if you notice Ichiro, Ichiro was in a hard case, a hard protector, I should say. So I'm wondering, did they ship it in a hard protector? All right, so here you go. I'll move this out of the way for you guys for a second. All right, so first one up. Sealed very well. 
You can see it's taped and everything. All right, let's get to opening. I'm gonna try to hold it down to keep more of the surprise factor for you guys. Let me open it up. And they're protectors, it's gonna be hard for me to tell, you know, what's the front and what's the back on it. Yeah, in the protector. All right, first one up. Wow, oh, here we go. So, hey, got an exclusive out the gate. So we got the purple, that's the purple chrome joker. Now, if you saw some of my recent videos I've done in my Target Con video, I just picked up all the jokers. And a part of me thinks too, they probably dropped the Joker pops for the Joker movie that came out. They didn't get the license for any pops for that Joker movie and they wanted to do something Joker related. So they had the Batman Arkham Asylum license. So I guess they just kind of decided to drop some new Jokers out. But that's a cool one. I like the Chrome ones. I might already have this one, but I'm guessing this will probably count. I don't know if they're gonna count this as an exclusive or a common. I would think it counts as an exclusive since it's only at Target. At the end of the video, I'll look up the values for all the pops and let you know how we did. Like I said, I only paid 10 bucks a piece. That's the first one. Let's keep going and see what's in the second box. All right, let me grab another one here. All right, box number two. So here you go. Really good job keeping these sealed, especially for like unboxing videos. They do a great job with that. All right, so door number two. See if we got another hit. Here we go. Wow, Harry Potter on the back. What's on the front? All right, it's just a regular Harry Potter. Looks like a common. Number 91 in the series. This was probably worth about 10 bucks. We'll look it up at the end. See if I can tell what year it is on the back. Can't really tell what year it is, but I think it's definitely a, a, a common Harry Potter for sure. So we'll look it up and just see what the value on that one is. At the end, the good thing is, hey, I got another protector. So that's two. Is that last one gonna be Ichiro? I'm gonna swing for the fences and hope so. All right, so last one up. Door number three. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we got another plastic protector here. Just so you can see it, it's sealed, pristinely sealed. All right, so door number three. I tell you what, if I hit that $3,000 pop, I'm not going to work next week. I'm going to tell you, they ain't going to find me. I'm going to be out on the couch, on a vacation, on a boat, something. <laughs> something. All right, door number three. Here we go. Wow. All right. Disney's Aladdin. We got the genie for Disney's Aladdin. I haven't seen the remake. I haven't seen the new movie either yet. So if you guys seen it, you know, let me know if you liked it in the comments. I'm wondering if it's on the Disney Plus channel since Disney Plus just launched. Could be on there. So that's the three I got out there. You know, not too bad. I actually got, you know, two of these three pops I didn't even own. So that's always great when I get ones in that I don't own. Didn't hit that each row, but that's okay. Like I said, it's still live. I might go back and order a couple more since they're still selling that mystery box. And I'll do another unboxing video if I do so all you can see it. But let's look up the values on these three. We'll come right back and I'll let you know how I did versus what I spent. All right, welcome back everybody. We checked out the values. I went to Pop Price Guide to look the values up. I like using the Pop Price Guide you know, a little more too because they always can show you when there's different you know, version stickers, especially with con exclusives, they do a good job of showing you the different prices. Sometimes Funko can be a little inaccurate with some of their prices, but either one, you can always look at both places and compare them. So let's kind of look at how I did. So the Joker, the Purple Chrome Joker, is worth $11. Harry Potter, this is called Harry Potter Yule Ball. This is worth $10. And Genie from the new Aladdin movie is worth six bucks. You mean Will Smith's only worth $6? He got jiggy with it. He didn't get jiggy with it for $6. Jiggy with it. But anyway, that's what that was worth. So, you know, all together, about 27 bucks. For these three pops if you include the price of the protectors they're about a dollar a piece i kind of value that add that in that's about 30 bucks for the three protectors so i pretty much broke even on what i spent got some nice protectors and two pops i didn't have got the purple chrome joker i can always use that one in a cool giveaway for you guys so that's what i got let me know in the comments what you think on the pops have you ever ordered from poptopia before you know let me know and if you're thinking about doing this box just let me know in the comments hey i appreciate you watching 
Appreciate you guys joining the Popular Opinion Posse. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.